Hi, everyone. Welcome. And today we are going to be discussing four secrets to connecting with people in conversations. Hi, I am Cheryl Piper, and this is CherylPiper.com. Uh, my apologies for being a little bit late, have uh, some technical difficulties, but I think we have it all resolved. And yes, this is Wednesday, which is normally interview day. But um, those of you who caught the show on Monday, I had to switch things around this week. And um, my guest was not able to be here on Wednesday. So I interviewed on Monday, which was a great show. Um, my guest was Sarah Martucci. And she was joining us all the way from Oregon, and we just had a great time. So please go back and check check that out when it's a when you're available to do so, because it was a really we had a good time, and a lot of lot of people connecting, a lot of people um, uh, having questions for Sarah. So um, as I said, today we're going to be talking about four secrets in connecting with other people while you're having conversations. So again, I am Cheryl Piper, and I would love it if you guys would share this out. Anybody that you know is having challenges in those areas and they feel like, oh my goodness, every time I try to talk with you know Sally or Bob or whoever, we just can't seem to communicate. So, Share that out. Um, put your questions in the uh, comment area, and I will get to them um, during the show. We'll try to answer all your questions. And if you're watching um, on the rebroadcast, go ahead and put your comments in. Put your questions in there because I'll get notified of those as well and be able to answer those. So if you're watching anywhere other than on my business page, I'll just give you a second to jump over there at Cheryl Piper sends love. Just type that into the search bar on Facebook and um, you'll be able to watch the broadcast there and I'll be able to see your comments, which is, you know, I want to be able to see your comments and make you part of the show. That's kind of what's fun about doing things live. So again, today we are going to be talking about four secrets to connecting with people while you're having conversations. And so I'll go ahead and give you those four and um, we will then kind of just break those down and uh, just discuss what that's all about. So secret number one is listening to connect coming into the conversation, listening to connect. Secret number two is no judgment, coming into the conversation without judgment. Secret number three is assume you have something to learn. I mean, even if this is somebody that you, you don't get along with at all, assume you have something to learn. And secret number four is pay attention. And so what we're going to do today for um, probably about 10 minutes, you know, we'll chat and we're just going to kind of talk about conversations and, you know, what, what it is to connect in these conversations. So I guess maybe I'll just throw a question out to you and we'll kind of start this off. You know, how many of you have unfriended someone on say Facebook because they've said something that you thought was offensive, whether it was, you know, something about politics, something about religion, or, you know, they just post too many pictures of stuff you just don't want to see up anymore. So, you know, this is kind of what we're talking about and um, being able to step into conversations and connecting. So just because sometimes um, we don't have things in common with others, it doesn't mean that we can't have a conversation. And so if we look at these four secrets, you know, bringing those into the conversation with us, 
And that's how we're showing up because that's really important how we show up to a conversation because, you know, our energy kind of comes in with us. And I know you guys all know what I'm talking about because you, how many times have you been in a situation where you know, you meet someone and, or, and they're walking up to you and by the time they get to you, you just feel them like, whoo, I don't know, this doesn't feel real good because that energy was coming ahead of them. And then they start talking and, and, and you, that feeling was correct. You know, this person either wants to argue with you, they want to just kind of make their point, want to try to convince you that they're right. And so if we show up to the conversation with keeping these four secrets in mind, we'll be able to connect and really have meaningful conversation like I said, even with someone that we don't get along with at all, or maybe we don't have anything in common with. So again, secret number one is listening to connect. And so showing up to the conversation, keeping that in mind, you know, I'm not coming into this conversation to try to be right. I'm not coming into this conversation trying to just think about, you know, what's my response going to be? And that happens so much as well, you know, that we don't hear the end part of what someone is saying because we hear that first part and then we start thinking about how we're going to respond. And then we miss, you know, half of the conversation we're missing because we're thinking about how we're going to respond versus listening to connect, listening to what they're saying and then just taking a second to process and think about how you're going to respond to that. And that creates that um, energy that is going to break down those walls of someone who say, you know, maybe they are a little bit defensive because they're thinking, oh, my goodness, every time I have a conversation with Cheryl, you know, she, you know, we don't we don't think on the same wavelength or we're not thinking about the same things or we don't agree on anything. And so they'll think that they need that wall up and coming to a conversation. So be patient with that and understand that if you choose to come in listening to connect, that, you know, you're going to create a space that's going to develop that type of a conversation. And then the second thing coming in without judgment this is this is a big one because, you know, that it's hard, you know, because we tend to, you know, we look at something and make a judgment on it, look at something and make a judgment on it. But if we come into a conversation without that judgment, with without those expectations of, oh, my goodness, this is going to be a hard conversation again. That's bringing judgment into it. Come in without any expectations and see how that conversation progresses because once again that person is going to feel that energy from you they're going to feel that it's a completely open and safe space for them to talk with you about what's really on their mind and then the third thing you know showing up and coming to the conversation, assuming that you have something to learn. Because there's something to learn from everyone. And I, I, I get all excited because I get like a little kid. I, I just, I get very excited about this, this part of what I'm talking about. Because in any conversation with anyone, there's always something to learn. And, you know, I, I'm just, I guess I'm just... Maybe I'm a, a information junkie or I love to learn. I have, that's a passion of mine. And so I enjoy talking with people. I enjoy hearing their stories. I enjoy connecting in that way and learning whatever I can from their experience because there's so much out there to learn. And if we can show up in a way with a con in a conversation, assuming that we have something to learn rather than, you know, wanting to be right and, and kind of pushing our point on someone and 
um, and showing up in that way, it's a whole different type of conversation. Once again, those walls will come down. If that person felt that before, you know, that they always had to put up walls around you, they're going to feel there's something different about this conversation. I feel very connected to this person right now. And I really do want to share with them. They're truly listening to me, which brings us into secret number four, which is pay attention. You know, if you're going to be there, just give that person your attention. And I know I've had situations before where um, people have um, talked to me about, um, you know, there's this way you can pay attention and learn this and do these little things or that, that little thing. When So people think you're paying attention or, or it helps you pay attention. And, and I often say, you know, it's, it's simple. If you're paying attention, you're paying attention. You don't need anything else. Just just bring your intention to the conversation and your attention on the conversation and focus there. And what that means is truly bringing yourself into the present moment. Because when you bring yourself into the present moment, that's all there is. You know, you're not trying to think about what you're going to do uh, when you when you leave this person. Oh, I have this to do. And I have to be there by two. Oh my goodness, by three, I have to do this. Oh, I have to pick the kids up. Oh, I, I, oh, I'm thinking about making this for dinner. I don't know. Or thinking about the past of, oh, you know, I had a hard morning. And, and uh, you know, what was that all about? And, and why is my computer acting funny? And why pull yourself into the present moment? Because this is the only time we have really, you know, but dwelling in the past or, or, you know, thinking about the future, you're not really giving your full attention to the present moment. So pay attention to the conversation that you're in and you will be able to connect in a way with that person. Like I said, even if in the past, you, you know, you've just never been able to connect before. Maybe you just don't have anything in common with them. But that doesn't mean that you can't come listening to connect. You can, you can come not bringing your judgment. You can come assuming you have something to learn. And you can come and pay attention. Because that's where the magic is. That's where it all happens. And showing up to conversations in this way, whether it's in your business life, whether it's in your personal life, you know, either way, you're going to benefit from these four secrets of connecting with others while having a conversation. So I see, you know, my time is, is kind of up. I like to wrap things up, you know, around 18 minutes and we're, we're coming up on that. So again, put your comments in the comment box. If you're, you know, watching live, put your comments in the comment box. If you're watching on the replay, I respond to all comments. I appreciate so much you guys showing up and being part of the show with me. It's just, it's just so much fun. So again, those four secrets in connecting with others in a conversation are secret number one, listening to connect. Secret number two, showing up without judgment. Secret number three, assuming that you have something to learn and secret number four, paying attention. So those are the what I wanted to chat about today. I wanted to keep it short and sweet and, and to the point. And um, again, sh um, I will be live on Sunday with my Sunday evening meditation. You know, I, I, I bring that out there for everyone. They just get stressed out on Sundays. Maybe you don't sleep well on Sunday evening, just anticipating, 
you know, what you have to do for the work week on Monday. So this meditation, I, I write a different meditation each week, but it's designed to help you kind of ease into the Sunday evening and get a restful night's sleep so that you're really fresh on Monday morning to show up and be present for your job. Also, if um, anyone who is in the tri-state area of South Central Pennsylvania, Maryland, and the Eastern Panhandle of West Virginia, we have a new program going on. I've designed this and it's, it's brand new starting this month. It's called Tri-State Woman Retreats. And you can find the information at tristatewomanretreats.com. And it's all about women coming together to connect and it's connecting and not competing. I mean, that's really the bottom line on it. It's food. It's fun. You know, we'll be doing some just different programs on I, the first program we're going to be talking about is on gratitude. And it's just a, it's going to be a fun evening of connecting. So grab your tickets. They are going fast and it really is limited seating. Um, so I will see you on Sunday. I'll see you Monday at one for my next show and Wednesday next week for our interview. And our interview next week is with Mayor Cromwell and she is an amazing um, energy healer. And she's very much about that connection with the earth. So I think it's going to be a fun and very interesting interview. Again, thank you so much for joining and I will see you next week. Take care.